this is a good example of, um, you know, I got a coolant leak. How much is it going to be cost to repair? The uh, coolant flange for the heater core. Uh, let me just find it. So the flange had broken off, and coolant was gushing out. Uh, so they noticed a bunch of steam coming out while driving. They never said anything about um, overheating or anything. So now that we have the uh, leak sealed, I'm just bleeding the system. I uh, filled up the coolant until it wouldn't drop anymore. Then I squeezed these hoses just to get some siphoning action. You can see the level is starting to drop. But I'm not I'm not getting any real return flow here. There's a little bit that's starting right now. So I have a suspicion that we're even looking at a bad water pump in this car. Uh, and so given an estimate for repairing the coolant leak, you know, like the flange, that's all fine and dandy, but then you got to phone again and uh, tell them that the water pump is no good. So what do you do first? Uh, do you install the flange no charge to see what happens next? Sometimes it's just a fuse, you know, the radiator fans don't come on because of bad contacts. Uh, it could be the fans themselves that are burnt out. There's lots of things to consider and a lot for the shop to tell them and uh, also for the customer to be aware of that uh, you cannot give an accurate estimate sometimes ahead of time. Okay, so I'm getting good flow now, so it must have been an air pocket still, uh, but just keep an eye on that, you know, make sure that you always have good flow. No flow is a bad water pump. 2003 Golf, um, check engine light, oh, sorry, forget that. I was trying to get communication with the scan tool. When I plugged in my Rostec cable, the green light never um, lit up. So that tells me that there is uh, a power or ground problem. So I checked fuse 32, oh, sorry, fuse 12. Let me make sure. Uh, fuse 12, yeah, that's the one up here. This guy right here, that was blown. So at this point, I don't know why it was blown. Uh, you can see it here. It hasn't blown yet. Focus. And the light is still on. So that means I should have communication with the scan tool now. Um, it's obviously something that you have to tell the customer or you yourself, if it's your own car, be aware of. Uh, something's shorting it out. Maybe they plugged in a scan tool that was bad uh, and then had no communication. And then, then they thought, or whoever did it, thought that there is a problem with the OBD. Uh, in this case, uh, my main concern is making sure I can sc get scan data because this car, I think the thermostat's not opening. Uh, it came in with a blown coolant flange and I already ran it fairly warm, but the uh, lower radiator hose was cold. So right now I'm just going to see what the computer says for temperature wise. Okay, so this is the um, TDI that I was just working on that had the coolant flange pop. And um, I just let it run outside and you can see temperatures at 105 and the radiator hoses are hot on the top lower one is cold radiator core is cold I'll show you so thermostat is bad on this one like I said don't go by this this will be hot you think the thermostat is open follow the hose along light down to here there's a hose there, you can see it right there. That hose is completely cold if you don't want to stick your fingers in here. Uh, the fan cannot come on unless you turn AC on, if it has AC, or unless that radiator fan switch right there, you can't see it, but there it is. Once that fan switch is warm, then the fans will come on, so there's no worry about sticking fingers in here. It needs a thermostat, long story short. And that's why, like I said, that flange blew, and you cannot just give an estimate on the flange because you don't know the history of it. Yes, there's an initial cost for the flange, but you still need to spend time verifying that the fans come on, thermostat opens. In this case, fans don't come on, don't come on because that sensor doesn't get warm because the thermostat is not opening.